Hi, welcome to Disney to Universal. If you are new here, my name is Nicola and today's video we are doing a pin unboxing and the set is the new The Little Mermaid 35th Anniversary Limited Release Pins and here are all of the pins. There are 10 in the set and it actually makes up a picture of Ariel on the rocks. I will pop a picture up here so you can see how it should look completed. There are two pins in each box. I have five boxes so we have the chance to complete this set but I'm hoping if I don't complete it that I will be able to trade in some trading groups that I'm in. First things first though, this box and the front picture is beautiful absolutely gorgeous. I think I will be wanting to save one of these boxes <laughs> uh, just to keep maybe hang up somewhere. Very, very cute. But let's get on with seeing what these pins look like in person because they look cute enough individually as well. But I think as a set, as a whole com complete collection, these are going to look gorgeous. It'll be interesting to see what one of these pins looks like. I have actually seen a few posts already of a lot of people getting duplicate boxes, like they've bought five boxes and they get two unique pins and the rest are all duplicates. I've seen those horror stories coming out, so hopefully I'm not going to be getting that kind of bad luck, but you never know. So pin number one. Show the back first. Okay. So it does have the Little Mermaid 35th on the back. That's always cute and nice to see. Who have we got first? Okay. Don't remember this guy's name, but I always do love to see a unique character that you don't normally see for um, pins in these from these movies. So that's always nice. That's what I liked about this particular one. Okay, pin number two. Okay. Look at Scuttle. It does, he's got such a cross-eyed funny look on this one. Interesting that they chose this look for his pin but cool he is a kooky crazy kind of bird so it works okay yeah these do have a nice look to them so but none of the big characters that i would be interested in the most so far okay so pin number three and four okay fingers crossed people seems to be different. Oh, there we go. That's a really good one. We have King Triton. And there you do get a very good look at the, you can see this is Ariel's profile here. That looks really nice. I love this particular pin. It's a really good one because I do love Triton and obviously the Little Mermaid. That's a really cool looking pin. Just on its own, that would be a cool pin. Okay. Pin number four. Oh, there we go. We've got Ursula and her eels, Flopsam and Jetsam. Yeah, that's a nice pin as well. Not too sure what body part that is from right now. Very, very nice looking pin. Cool. Okay, on to box number three. And pins five and six. Okay. Oh, come on. Let this luck keep going. Oh, no. 
soon as you say something like that, it generally always happens. I don't know. As soon as I said it, I, I cringed. You couldn't see me, but I was cringing. And there we go. So is this going to be a duplicate box? If this was a duplicate box, we would get another King Triton. Yes, it was a duplicate box. Okay. So box number three. On to box four. And this is pin seven and pin eight. There's a lot of air in these. Okay. Oh, yay, a new one. That's good. Again, I can't tell what part of the body this is, but Sebastian there. It's a nice little look on his face. Okay. Pin number eight. Oh no. So not a duplicate box from the first box we opened, but a duplicate pin nonetheless. Okay, and our last box with pin number nine and pin number ten. Okay, so we are still looking for Eric, Ariel, Flound, Flounder, yes, um, the cook, again, I can't remember his name, uh, Vanessa, which is one I was really looking forward to seeing. Okay, so too many to obviously complete, but can we get any more unique pins? That is the hope here. Oh, there we go. Flounder, and as you can see, this is definitely Ariel's fin. I like his face on that pin as well. That's nice. Okay, and our last pin, pin number 10. Oh, yay, Eric. Okay, so that was pretty good, I would say. I am happy with that because we have one, two, three duplicates and seven uniques. That is a pretty successful pull. So I only need to try and trade for three, which is amazing. So I still need Ariel, the cook, and Vanessa. But I'm gonna see about completing this puzzle as much as possible to see what body parts and areas we are missing. Here is the completed Ariel so far. Um, it's actually all of the three pieces that I'm missing are the bottom of the rock. So this is part of the rock as well. I'll pop a picture up here so you can see what we are missing. But yeah, it's the three pieces here. So I'm definitely going to get straight onto those trading routes and see if I can trade these three pieces for the three I'm missing. But I would have to say this is beautiful looking. This pin here is definitely the best pin out of all of them just because it works so well with um, the profile and then King Triton. I do think um, somebody had mentioned somewhere on one of the pin posts that it should have probably have been Eric that was in her head because that make, would make the most sense. But there you go. Anyways, really successful pull. Very, very happy with that. If you've got any comments, please let me know and I will definitely get back to you. That is the end of today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.